All right, so in this particular episode, we are creating our signup page so that we can enter some data into our database. All right, so to begin with, let's get this already existing template of our, uh, our index page. So let me go to my folder and this is the index page. And by the way, make sure your server is running. Do not forget, I'm using XAMPP, so make sure these two are running here, Apache and MySQL. Right, so let me open my index.php page in the text editor. Uh, let me select everything and create a new file, file new and paste. So I've just copied everything from my index page to this new file. And then I'm going to hit save. Now in here, I won't save as HTML. I want to save as all files. And then I'm going to say signup.php. And like I mentioned before, this doesn't have to be a PHP page. It can be a .html page and everything will still work just as well. All right, so let me save this. There we go. Now, of course, we won't need a lot of this stuff. We will need the JavaScript here because we still need to retrieve information from the server. So what we will do is simply delete. We just need the wrapper here. So everything from the div inside the wrapper here the wrapper ends there, so I'm going to delete everything in there, like so. And then I'm going to delete all these styles except for the wrapper itself. So, oops, there we go. All right, so up, everything up to down here must go. All right, so we have the wrapper and we have our, yes, the div wrapper right there. So in here, I want to create a form like so. And inside the form, I'm going to put some input boxes. So this one will be of type text, of course. The name will be username. And then I'll need a placeholder, which will be username with a capital U, something like so. And then let me simply put a break tag over here so that everything else comes in the next line like this, okay? And the next thing is I'm going to duplicate this three times. And in the next one here, I'm going to make this of type password. And of course, oops, oh, all right. So here where there is username, it's going to be password as well, but they can't have the same name. So this other one will be password two. And then here we'll put password for the placeholder. And of course, the next one, we're going to say retype password. Okay, so the last one won't need a placeholder because, and it won't need a name either. It will need a value, sorry, oops. You don't need a value of sign up because this will be the button itself, like so. And it's going to be of type submit. Now it can be of type button. It doesn't matter because we won't actually be posting this. We'll be using JavaScript to send this information to the server. Okay, so there we go. Now the only thing remaining here is uh, Okay, let me see, let me add a few inputs here. So I'm going to put a break tag again and say gender, like so, and what is this? Okay, why did I do that? Okay, there we go. So a break tag, a break tag, and then let's put a full colon here after gender. And then we'll add another input of type radio these will be radio buttons. So of course the name will be gender. And I'm going to have this one say mail. Let's put a break tag and duplicate. And this one will be female, like so. And that's probably it. So let me save this one and let's go to our browser and navigate to signup.php. Uh, Okay, there we go. Not uh, the best sign up form in the world, but we'll get there. 
So first of all, let's change the text color. Here, the text color in the wrapper is white. We're going to change that to gray so that we can actually see what's going on in there. Very good. And then we'll go back to the form. Let's add a few styles on the form itself. Actually, to be more professional, let's add a thing called form here so that we can style it from here. And the first thing is margin will be auto. And then um, what else do we need? Uh, let's add some padding of 10 pixels. And then let's add a background color. Now this is only temporary so that we can see what has happened. Background color black. So let's refresh. And there we go. So we see it's in the middle there. So let's add a few more things. Let me say width uh, 100%. Okay, and then max width. So this one, uh, the width of 100%, if I save this, and go back here, you'll see that it stretches throughout uh, the limits of the wrapper. However, we can set a maximum width, which we are going to do here of 400 pixels. 400, not 40. That way it's limited to 400. Now we can remove the background color. We don't need that. Unless you, of course you need it, you can change it to something else. All right, so there we go. Now I want to style the input here. So I'm going to come back here and say input like so. And here I'm going to say, first of all, padding will be 10 pixels. Right, margin, also 10 pixels, just to keep things simple. Uh, width, 100%, or just to be, sometimes we just put it at 98%, just to leave a little bit of some room. And that should do it actually. Let me refresh and there we go. Okay, we're getting there. But let's add a, a little bit of rounded corners. So we're going to add a border radius, uh, five pixels, something like that. And we get some little uh, rounded corners, but then we have this 3D look of the buttons, which I don't like. So we're going to do a uh, border and just say, so we need a solid line, which is thin. Or if you want here, you can put one pixel or whatever number of pixels you want. And let me put a color of gray. And there we go. Very, very good. Now, as you can see, because we've targeted the uh, inputs, so it's targeting everything in here, which is fine, but except for these guys here. So the way we can target very specific thing is if I go to here on input here, I can add some uh, square brackets like that and just say type, because this is an input, I'll say type of text like so. So once I do this, it's going to target only the inputs which are of type text. So let me refresh. And you see, this is the only one with that kind of thing. Hmm. We can also target a different kind. Uh, let's go to, let's see if we can target uh, password as well. Oops, should I put a comma here? I've actually never done this kind of thing before. Ah, there we go, that worked like a charm. All right, so once we put a comma here, it means this will work for both of these. So we can put as many as we, as we want in there. And also what we can add is, let's add a different one for this guy. Let's come back here. Type of submit. All right, like so. Actually, most of these things work for it here. So what we will do is do this, put a comma there, like so, or submit so that it gets those as well. 
and then we can also add some extra styles here just to change things up a bit because for example it's not going to it's not matching up with these guys over here so maybe what we can do is increase the padding left and padding right or we can simply deal with the width uh, let's adjust it until it looks right so let's try 101 percent if uh, that's even uh, a good idea let's see what happens Ooh, even that isn't enough so let's try 105 percent too much this is the thing that uh, you need to simply use your eye to see okay there we go so we are doing really well here but on the button itself let's add a cursor and we're going to add a pointer like so very good so that when we hover on this one it points uh, really well there okay and then we can adjust these babies a little bit better uh, this gender uh, part here so what we could do is wrap this guy inside a uh, div so that we can move them around to match this area so what I will do is come here and let's add a div like so and then let's close the div right here push that in and like so then we can simply add a few styles here and just say padding that's all we probably need 10 pixels so let me refresh and there we go so now we have at least a little bit more of some lining up okay so gender male female now if you want these to match a little bit of this you could add um, let's try this input of radio here input type radio and then what we could say is uh, transform let's use the scale and let's add 1.1 so the scale uh, one is the normal size and as you go higher uh, you see that your items look bigger so as you can see they look much much bigger let me uh, pronounce this a bit more let me put it at two so that you can see the difference and there we go okay now that's a little bit overboard so i'm happy with i think 1.2 something like this okay then also if you want to you can put <coughs> excuse me the cursor of pointer as well here so let me refresh and that way there is a pointer okay all right so so far so good everything looks uh, like it can work so now if you want to change the background color of the sign up button what i usually do is if i go to submit here i can simply just add a background color of let's say black all right then let me refresh and now you see it's black so i can right click on it and go to inspect element and then because it's going to bring me uh, the background color right here so i can zoom like so click on the color and then now i can use my color picker to actually select a color that makes more sense something like so okay so let's try to match the overall theme of this uh... okay so we can use that one but we we'll obviously need to change the main color so let me click there come back here and put that color over here and then do color Ooh, color white all right and that's it see so very very good stuff going on here so now what we need to do is connect to our database and have somebody sign up but let's put a title at the top here so that uh, it looks more like our website before we go so on top of the form here i'm going to create a div and then in here i'm going to write my chat 
like so. Now, if we go to our index page, we simply uh, can copy what's already in, um, where is that? This is the header, right? So we are simply going to copy what's in here. We could simply name it the header as well. So let me go back here and let me just give it an ID of header like so. And let's paste it here, header. And let's refresh. Oops, what's going on? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, there is no flexing in here. That's why it's not doing what we want. So let's give it a width of 100%. Okay. And uh, what else did we change? We need the color of white as well. That should sort it out. And let me refresh. There we go. But uh, it's on the wrong side of things. And that's probably because the wrapper has a uh, display of flex, which we do not need at this point. So let's remove that, refresh, and there we go. All right, so my chat, and we can put a login below that. Where is this? So let me add a little bit of space here, like so. And then I can have another div down here and just say login. Uh -huh. And then some styles. Uh, font size has to be reduced here to something like uh, 16 pixels. And then we shall be good to go. Oops, what is going on? Oh, all right, so the header also has a height, a fixed height here, so we could remove that so that it's auto. There we go. So we can't really see the word login, so I guess this was too small. Let me put it at 20 pixels. Hmm. All right, so you can change the font family here as well, because uh, remember we have two fonts here. Uh, these head font and my font. So we can go down here and say font family, just so we can see that better. Say my font. Is it capital F or not? Ah, there we go. So login page, let's put a break tag just after that. Whoop, break tag. Now, oh, you see the break tag follows the font size. This is why the break tag goes all the way down here. Not something that we need. So let's simply remove it. And what we could do instead is put a margin on this guy and say 10 pixels. Okay, so that should sort our problem out doesn't look like it has so let's simply simply remove that one we don't want to have styles that are not doing anything different ah, that should do it all right so we have our login page here and now we're going to see how if somebody types something here username a password a repeat password and then when they hit sign up instead of the page refreshing uh, we want it to send some data in the ajax all right, so I'll see you in the next video where we do that.